Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and welcome to the 83rd episode of the Book Crew Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Matthew. Got the good camera back this week, so Matthew can see me on the crappy camera, and you guys can see me on the good camera. You're probably wondering why we're doing this over Skype this week instead of in person like we usually do. That's because I probably have COVID. Yep, that's exactly what's going on this week. Yeah. Unlike the previous weeks. We actually, you guys may not know this, but um, starting about a year ago... We actually perfectly recreated Matthew's dorm room in my basement, because mm-hmm. um, we didn't want to take away from like the Skype feel, but we found it to be more natural when we were sitting next to each other. So like the whole layout was kind of just going over a divide in my actual basement. Like this is one camera shot. Yeah, but many people don't know that. It's a bit of a, it's a bit a little bit of fun trivia for you. Yeah. Um. Don't forget that for episode 100 when we do the trivia show. <laughs> That, that would be fun. <laughs> the trivia show? Yeah, I don't know what would be in it, but... I, I just said that as a joke, but it probably would be pretty fun. <laughs> Alright, anyway, a uh, big thank you to all the YouTube members helping support the channel. A very special thank you to Pyro, Pateer, and Above, who are Craftmaster C, Rune, Tumbleweed, Garfield, and Suntan. Uh, if you the viewer want to become a YouTube member, go click the Join button next to the Subscribe button. And uh, now let's go on to this podcast. Yeah. So, we had some major Lego rumors this week. Yep, that only pertains to our channel for once. It, yep. It are, they are only leaks that interest your viewers. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, we have Ninjago leaks from Promo Bricks. Um, Promo Bricks just coming out here, just like leaking the entire wave, uh, what, five months ahead of time? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it comes out in June. Yeah, wacky. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. As always, this is Promo Bricks. So take it all with a grain of salt. But Promo Bricks tends to be pretty reliable. So, well, every aspect may not be correct. They're probably in the general realm of what these sets are. I'm pulling them up. Okay. Uh. So I'll just get started on the first one because I feel like you don't need to have this one up to see it. The four plus dragon temple. Essentially, this one is just it's a ice dragon with a little temple build. It comes with core Kai and Zane. Um, no thank you. I I mean, I'm excited for a Ice Dragon with a molded head, even if it is 4+. plus. I feel like the head could be cool to build my own stuff with. That's true. That is true. Uh, Corzain only comes in two sets, so I'm happy to see him in another set, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Or actually, no, he'll be in three sets as of March. Yeah, and he's also in a $10 set, so... Yeah, so... Whatever, it's not. It's not probably not going to be for most people, but it's cool. It's happening. Z- Zane in the four plus sets, cool to see. Kind of four plus sets, not surprising. Yeah, I mean, as someone who is four plus, I just don't find this one too interesting. <laughs> All right, next, getting a little more interesting, we have Jay's Gold Dragon Motorbike. So this is a small set, only one hundred thirty-seven pieces for twenty dollars. Which the part counts on these do concern me quite a bit. Because the values on all of them seem pretty bad. So, Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike. Uh, my concern with this is the part count. 137 parts for 20 is weird for Ninjago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see it, because maybe it's huge pieces, or maybe the minifigures are, like, hyper-detailed. I but... would say, though, Evo sets were not the best price to part either. That's true. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to see what this is like. Price to part seems to be skewing more towards 11 and 12 cents per piece now just because of inflation. Like, it is a thing. It has been 10 cents kind of as an average for, like, 15 years. It makes sense that it will start to go up. Yeah, this just kind of seems like a stark difference because Ninjago's been keeping, like, the 7 or 8 for most, outside of Evo, um, for most, like, season waves for a while. So this just seems like a <laughs> drastic difference. It is what it is. I don't... Uh, part counts aside, though, uh, this it mentions that it comes with Jay and his gold-winged armor. That's mentioned for characters in a few different sets. Um, very curious to see what that looks like. Um, well, we can we discuss that? We can't discuss it, but we might know what it looks like. <laughs> um, we probably know what it looks like. Looks... We probably know what it looks we, like. And looks... you know what? Just a random theory, completely unrelated. What if it's the gold wings that the Shintarans wear? Because, you know, they have... This golden armor piece that has golden wings coming off of it. Is that and this, the same thing? I mean, it could be. It looks. Very, it might look very similar. It might. Okay. I would have no way to know if it looked very similar, but it might look very similar. Okay. <laughs> if you knew what it looks like, I would honestly think it looks incredible. Um, yeah. No, it, me too. If, if we knew what it looked like. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, the the ninja ninja with wings is funny, but that seems like a lot of fun. I am excited for it, man. I, yeah, yeah, me too. It sounds like Chima except Ninjago. Yeah. Cheap J bike though is whatever. It'll probably be cool. Um, we get those. We've been getting a lot of J vehicles lately, and I love it. Like we got, <laughs> we got a dragon, we got a car, we got a, now a bike. I mean, yeah, he's just missing a plane. He just got like I mean he has planes. I know. His first ever vehicle was a plane. I know, but like we need a new one. Okay. I guess, I guess the... he has a plane in the mech. He also has a four plus plane in twenty twenty. You're right. <laughs> Next, we have Cole's Dragon Racer. This is a Cole car with uh, four minifigures. Um, Kai in his gold-winged armor. Cole in his just regular suit, I guess. And then the interesting thing is a crystal version of Asphira. So that's the interesting thing about these sets. It seems like a lot of older villains are returning. Uh, this is the first one we see in the crystal Asphira. It mentions that she is completely black with uh, pink fire and crystal armor. Mm-hmm. That sounds awesome. Yeah, uh, what's the deal with that, though? I think it's going to be a... So, my guess is... So, we have the... We know that this season's going to be about the Bench Dunbar, and we know it's all crystal-themed. So, if I had to guess, it's not actually a sphere. It's like simu- like a, a simulation or recreation of her using crystal, and that's what all of these villains are. Okay. Are they like, They're like crystal-molded into, like, sam- like, the generic villain, I think, are samurai. So, like, those are just, like animated crystal but i guess the villain has animated crystal to act like <clears throat> asphira and act like the skull sorcerer i just like, like as a, really cool yeah no the minifigures are gonna be awesome because this this is giving me day of the departed vibes obviously but the exciting thing about this is like day of the departed just kind of re-released minifigures mostly while this is going to be all new variants of these characters yes so that that i cannot wait for plus i love like crystal looking like purpley stuff i think that's such a cool color scheme so yeah that is very yep. exciting. Yeah, I cannot wait. Um, not not really. Don't have anything to say really on the cult car though. It's going to be a cult car. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, then we have Zane's Gold Dragon Jet. This one apparently is similar to Jay's Stormfighter, but in white. Um, <clears throat> get Cole in his Golden Wing armor as well as Zane, of course. And this one comes with a Skull Sorcerer. Yeah. Um, is Skull Sorcerer in a black suit with pink crystal armor again? Like, I don't know, this is so cool that, like, every set is going to come with a different, like, main villain Agreed. in a new outfit. Like, that's well, so cool. Is it every set? It's, so, we don't know for sure. I have a theory as we go. It's, uh, the smallest one definitely does not, but I think the rest do. Okay. So, uh, again, it's, it's a Zane jet, though. Cool to see Zane, but, like, I don't have much to say about just a jet mm-hmm. until we see it. Um... Next, we have Temple of the Crystal King, and this one sounds awesome. I agree, this one sounds so cool. So, it consists of four buildings, uh, they're floating in the air. The cool wa- the cool thing is, one of them is apparently a Tenskriti yeah. sculpture, which I kind of guess that means the LEGO Ideas project is not getting approved, that we talked about last week. I don't know about that. I feel like if they're including it, they're not going to make a whole set just for it. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, whatever. All right, so then the mentions the set also includes at least two antagonists, a previously unknown character, which don't know what that could be, and a black figure with four arms and four pink crystal swords. So that like this doesn't explicitly say there's a returning villain in the set, but that could be quite a few people because mm-hmm. we've gotten uh, a predominantly like black figure with four arms, multiple that could be Garmadon, that could be Kozu, that could be Legacy Overlord. That, that figure could be... also comes in a couple sets, I think, though. They mention it in one other set. One other set. But if so, it's like Garbodon or something, I could see it coming in more than one. Could that be like the main villain of this season? I, so my guess is, so not to skip around too much, but my guess is Pythor is the bench done buyer. Okay. Based on what we hear. Because this just sounds like another crystal character because it mentions that it's four pink crystal swords. Okay. Um, but I guess we can't say for sure just with this description. Um, then we have the Crystal King set. That um, sounds epic. Yeah, so it's just like a centaur build, um, which is uh, black with details in purple and gold, uh, golden armor on the belly, which bears a resemblance to the Overlord's armor. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it's equipped with a lance with a new crystal tip. Uh, 
So it comes with two Crystal Samurai, which are the generic ones. Lloyd with hair and cape. Cape on Lloyd sounds awesome. Like Yeah. That, that, that just sounds really cool. And then a new Harumi. <coughs> uh, very curious as to what Harumi is doing here. I assume she's just another... The reason the reason I have my theory about like the Crystal Revived villains is because like, I don't know how you could actually bring Harumi back if that wasn't it. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just the whoever this villain is just doing that to mess with Lloyd. Probably. But a uh, new Hermie figure, very exciting, and I'm curious to see what her outfit is. Yeah. Alright, and then we have Kai's Golden Dragon Raider, which is... Do you know what they mean by this? It's reminiscent of Batman's Chima Eagle-style Nightcrawler. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? The Nightcrawler from the Justice League movie. Right, and so I, I did look up that set. Um, is that Chima Eagle style? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that part means either. I wonder if that's like lost in translation. Maybe. Um, that's a weird set though, so I'm curious what this is gonna look like. Yeah. Um, so okay, this is this is where my one of my theories comes in. So it mentions that it has four additional crystal samurai, Kai minifigure, and Zane in his golden wing armor. So this is a ninety dollar set. All like there's smaller sets that all come with returning villains. I would be shocked if this one did not as well. Mm-hmm. Four Crystal Samurai also seems like a lot. If I had to guess, one of them is probably a Crystal Ice Emperor. Yep, that's what I was just gonna say. Because it would like that one would make like could very easily be confused with just one of the Crystal Samurai. Because I I suspect the Crystal Samurai will probably use the Ice Samurai helmet pieces just in pink Which, instead of. Honestly, I think that's a cool thing because that is like an underutilized piece. That piece was oh for sure epic. Like that piece was genuinely epic. For sure. So and that would also pertain to the like. Not actually the villain's theory, because obviously Zane is not no longer the Ice Emperor, so. Yeah. Um, then we have Lloyd's Ultra Golden Dragon, which apparently is <clears throat> the Ultra Dragon. Like, it's got four heads. Yeah. And they are all, uh, they are all the molded heads, each with different combinations of the upper and lower jaws, which sounds so cool. Yeah, it does. I cannot wait to see how that looks. I do worry about this a little bit, because the last two Ultra, like, the last two Ultra Dragons, they've both been okay. Like, I like those both of those sets enough, but they're far from perfect. Mm-hmm. So, I, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm curious as to what this is going to look like, but I, I'm hopeful for it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it comes with nine minifigures, Lloyd and the four ninja, uh, three more v- villains and a new four-armed antagonist. That could, like, three more villains could be anything. I, I suspect there will be another returning villain here. Um, so I don't know who it would be, but I, I'd be shocked if the $140 set does not come with one. So I'm reading something. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like, uh, New Golden Lloyd sounds cool, though. So, is it, like, one of the Golden Ninja in every set? So, one of the Winged Ninja in every set, and then this sounds like it's going to be Golden Lloyd again. Because I want, I need, dude, I need all the wingsuits. Yeah, I know. I'm curious if the wingsuits are just going to be the normal suits with wings, or if it's actually going to be a, a unique thing. I hope it's a unique thing. I, I, I hope it's a unique thing just from a, like, oh, I love Ninjago figure standpoint, but from a collecting standpoint, it will be, it'll be like Secrets of Spin Jitsu, where there's a different figure in each set. Yeah, but also have the money to be able to be okay with that now. So yeah, I think this uh, this wave totals a hundred. Oh, sorry, six hundred thirty dollars. That's not for the entire wave. That's not that bad. All right, we are back. Uh, there was a cut there. I don't remember exactly what we were talking about, so if this is a little bit redundant for the viewers. I apologize, but we were talking about the Ultra Golden Dragon. Um, I don't think I think we were like near the minifigures. Mm-hmm. Um, it comes with uh, a new Golden Lloyd as well as the other four Ninja. Um, and it mentions that there's a new four-armed antagonist. Now, the thing that, this might just be a translation thing, but it mentions here that it's a new four-armed antagonist, while in the other side just mentions, oh yeah, there's like, there's a black figure with four arms. I think the other one might be Crystal Garmadon, and this one might be an actual character. Yeah. And then three more villains that, I, I feel like one of them has to be a returning villain, because like, it's such a big, like, it's the biggest set of the wave. I would be shocked if like, that didn't have any main villains mm-hmm. in it. So maybe maybe the new forum antagonist is the main villain. I'm not sure. Also, can we talk about nine eighty nine pieces for one forty. 
Yeah, that's the uh, that's why I'm saying these the prices on these are wacky. Like, what's the deal with that? Now, if it does have four molded heads like that, that makes a little bit of sense. But these figures have to be absolutely fire. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, nine figures is a lot, which is really good. But if it's like, if it if it's like the five ninja and like three generic villains, that'll be lame. So this. This has to work hard to justify the price. I'm excited for it as a set, but yeah. for the price, it, it needs to work hard to justify it. Yeah. Because um, this is less pieces than the $100 template. Yes, yes. Significantly less. Right? That, that one has like 1400 I think. The temple? Yeah. That one's 80 the and has 703 No, the, the Ninja Dojo temple. The oh, oh, yeah. The, yeah. Of yeah, it does. It does. That one does have like 1400 Yeah, 1400 so yeah, this one has to has to work to justify its price, but hopefully it does. Um, but I'm cautiously curious about this set, I'll say. Mm -hmm. And I'm very curious as to what like what this has to do with the show. Like, is Golden Power back with the Golden Lloyd in the set and the Golden Ultra Dragon? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know either. And then the final set is probably the one I'm most excited for, just because I'm curious as to what in the world this mm -hmm. is. For $120, we have Nia's Samurai X Mech. So we had the Samurai X Mech rumored before, and we were like, is it Main Wave? Is it Legacy? Is it Pixel? Is it Nia? So there, so Chromebooks is saying that it's Nia's Mech, not Pixels, but it's Azure. It's not red. Yeah. So like, it's Nia's Ninja color scheme, which begs a lot of questions. Number one, she's not a Samurai X anymore. Number two, she's not even a Ninja anymore. She's water. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's got a big red X in the chest. It's got new golden blades of swords. I'm very curious to see this both in the show and as a set. This sounds awesome. Um, a thousand piece Samurai X Mac. What if it's not a Mac? What if it's like Nia embodying like something as like because she's not a human anymore. She's like a spirit. Right. So what? So what theory I saw? I forget. It might have been one of the DMs I was in. Someone. I forget, Apologies for not crediting, but I saw someone suggest that, what if it's, like, uh, because she's, like, she is water now. Like, what if she, like, had gotten into the Samurai X cave and she's, like, piloting it from the, like, kind of, like, possessing the mech, but... Yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking, like... Yeah. And that could be potentially really cool. I'm, I'm very curious about the, uh, about the Nia minifigure, too. Like, is it just gonna be a normal ninja suit, or is it gonna be, like, the NRG Nia head? I think it's gonna be, like, energy Nia. I don't think she's coming back as a human. Yeah. At least not yet, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, and then something else is, they mentioned the side on the set, is there's a small dragon similar in shape to that of Unagami. I think this just straight up is a crystal Unagami. Yeah, it probably is. Because, like, if the Skull Sorcerer and Esper are back, there's no reason that Unagami can't be. Yeah, and if this either, is in a $120 so. set, that is a $30 build, so it is... Yeah. Ninety dollar mech, which is more in yes. line with other mechs we've had. Yes, well, yeah. So that actually makes a lot of yeah. sense. So, um, running Iron Dragon unfortunately is not an amazing set in my opinion, but I think I don't like I for some reason I love the idea of like two variants of the same set. So if this is like the Unigami Dragon like recolored with like a few different things. Like I would. Love yeah, that. I agree. Um, and I think that's cool to give us another like returning villain, but not necessarily just like another minifigure. Like it is still Unigami, yeah. but. It's his dragon form instead. And then uh, minifigures, Jay and Nia, of course, um, and Pythor with red armor. Yep. So that's... I I suspect Pythor might be the Vengeance Envire and the main villain of the season. Uh, yeah, I, you mentioning that makes that... I don't know, makes a lot of sense. So the reason I think that... It, again, it could be a translation thing, but this is the only one that's not like described as crystal. Mm -hmm. Like, this just is Pythor in red armor, which means he very well could just be regular Pythor himself, and he's the one behind it all. Um, then again, it could, he could be another crystal, crystal I don't villain think so, and like just the, because the forearm villain could be the main one. I don't, okay, here's why I don't think so. All of the other crystal villains are very distinctly the main villains of the like post 2019 season. Yeah, the, the Wild Dragon. Is not one of those. Right. Has he even been yeah, like, has he even shown up in any of these seasons? He has not, we have not seen him in six yep. years. Day of the Departed was That's why I don't think that that's what this is. Yeah. So I'm very curious. Regardless, so excited for a new Pythor and figure. I, it's been way too long. I know they like Pythor as like their villain. Like he he, he makes a great main villain. So yeah, he's a he's a great character too. 
Oh man, it's been too long since we've seen Pythor do anything like good because the other part he wasn't great, so <laughs> I I would love that. And then it mentions there's two unknown characters which could be Sensei Wu and Scott. So what um what I get what I assume what's happening with Promo Breaks is they got the preliminary images and they're just describing what they can see from the one shot they they have from the preliminary <laughs> images so like these are figures off in the background um sensei woo though cool to get woo but scott that's very exciting to me yeah i hope they make a crystal version of his vehicle <laughs> i do not hope honestly that, they could sounds. just straight re-release that set and i'd buy it <laughs> you didn't even buy the first one i regret that <laughs> Um, but no, it's, Scott's cool. I hope he's not the only returning side character in sets, because, like, there's a few sets that mention, like, yeah, there's a few minifigures we don't know, but, like, Skylar, I think it would be shocking if she's not in any of the sets, but, like, I don't know, Akita, um, Twitchy Tim finally getting him, <laughs> like, Benthomar would be cool, like, I don't know, I feel like there's multiple side characters in the sets. Scott would not be the first one I choose, but I would be happy to get him again. Yeah. And it'll be his human form too, probably instead of his uh, digital mm -hmm. form. But yeah, that is that is all the That's... sets. What are your thoughts overall on this wave? This man? wave sounds epic sauce. Like it sounds genuinely so cool. I, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I have a lot of hype for this. It's reminding me a lot of Day of the Departed with the returning villains. The prices for the piece count scare me a little bit, but I'm hoping it's not as bad as it mm -hmm. looks. There's a big part of me that's hoping that these uh, samurais are also snakes. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't, because if they were snakes, I think um, Promo Burks would describe them as snakes, because they're not uh, they're not reading the official names. I know. That I being know. said, like, there's a few descriptions that just mentioned villains, potentially, maybe snakes. Like, because if it's but like, not just snakes, we I don't just want snakes. You want whippers? Yeah, I want whippers. But if it's like Day of the Departed, right, the main villains came back, but also their sidekicks. So what if Aspira was revived, and she also comes with a revived uh, crystal? Not not revived is the wrong word. She's still alive. But, like, what if we get Crystal Aspira and her army of crystal whippers to fight alongside her? Now that, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> God, can you imagine getting a crystal whipper? That would be, that would be epic. That would be a geode whipper. Not geo whipper, geode whipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm i excited for the sets and not excited for the price, but as a whole, I can't wait for this wave. This is probably the most excited I've been for, for a wave just based on descriptions in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always excited, but, like, returning villains and new variants of villains. No, they all sound really cool. And new ninja variants, too. The wings and everything sound epic. Yeah. And I like how... Um, Every ninja gets their own set, as well as all coming in the biggest set. Yes. Except for Nia, but Nia is, I think, going to be a special case this way. Of, like, for once, it makes sense for Nia to not be common. Because I don't think she'll be a big part of this season. Yeah, I think it's. I think Nia in this season is going to be a lot like Pixel in previous seasons, where she's going to like have a small part in the season. And she's going to come in one set. I think she might be like a big season finale thing. Yeah. I agree with you there. Anyway, what else do we have to talk about this week? Um, the Globe, yeah. Oh, the Globe was... yeah. Uh, is that on Lego.com? Yeah. That's under ideas. Okay, this is the kind of set that I'm interested in, and I might be buying it. Yeah, it, it it's really cool, the techniques they use to put all this together. Yeah. This really feels like a, um, a Death Star is coming soon. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of people saying that. Um, I don't know. Like, this could work for a Death Star, I just don't... I guess. This is a really cool set. I, I won't say that. It is a... I, I probably will be getting this. I don't know about day one necessarily, but like... $200 is a lot, but it, I mean, it makes sense. Like, it's worth the price. It's just a big I'm, price. I'm glad I held out on the map, because I think I'd enjoy this one way more. Yeah. I think the map is still very cool. I really... I think my favorite part of the, this set is the tiles with the names of the continents on it. <laughs> That's really cool. I wonder if those are printed or... St probably printed, right? Oh, uh, they're printed. Okay, that's good. And I actually, I think they're glow-in-the-dark as well. Really? That's yes. actually kind of awesome. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have a ton to say about this. Really cool building technique. It looks awesome, but... 
not yeah i don't know myself. what to say I'm, I'm excited for it to come out i can't wait to see it in person uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing this at the Lego store on display, and that's about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got? So we weirdly we have a new Lego movie uh, rumored, not rumored, yeah. confirmed. Um. So this is coming from Lego World Builder, and like they did a contest, and it's it's called the next Lego. It's the missing piece, a Lego Christmas. Um, let me read the synopsis for all of you, uh, viewers, and, as well as Matthew. Uh, I've, I've read it. The story of the missing piece involves sister duo Lulu and Sam, with Lulu aiming to cheer up her sister by, by tracking down giving her a vintage Lego set. However, when a malicious AI from within the present escapes, its goal is to rebuild the its goal to rebuild the world might put an end to the holiday celebrations. It will go between uh, real world and Lego world. Okay, that's, that's where it ends. Cool. It will go between oh. the real world and the Lego world. Um... Apparently this is going to be theatrical too. I'm going to come out and say this. It sounds like high garbage. Yeah, yeah, it sounds really bad. Anything that involves getting sucked into the video game, like getting sucked into the the Lego world, mm -mm. I'm pretty sure this is the exact plot of the Playmobil movie too. By the way, that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Which nobody watched that because that was a steaming pile of garbage as well. But like, I think it might even be a Chris. Is Playmobil a Christmas movie too? I don't think so. It might be. I think this might just on a play mobile movie synopsis. I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Uh no, I'm gonna just control F Christmas on the Okay, no, it's not a Christmas movie, but here, let me read you the Playmobile movie plot synopsis, because it might sound a little familiar. Um, Marla is a formerly free-spirited girl who has grown up to be... Res Actually, no, that's too much. Um, Maria and her younger bro brother Charlie find themselves magically transported to their fantastical world of Playmobil. Wow. Like, it's... it's. <laughs> uh, so, I don't... I mean, I'm, I'll give it a shot, but... I think the Lego movies are dead, dead. Yeah, I think they're dead, dead, and I think this sounds bad. I... Honestly, I think this sounds bad. I think it'll probably get stuck in developmental hell. I might not even actually end up coming out. There is... I have no hope for this. Nope, me neither. It's... I'll see it if it comes out, of course, but... Yeah. I don't... I don't really care. It's... It's not... I, it's, franchise. It, sounds like, it sounds like a Hallmark movie. Yeah. No, it's... It feels like a direct-to-DVD thing. Like, this does not sound yeah. theatrical. Yeah. With the utmost peace and love to the uh, the people behind the World Builder Project, but no thanks. Yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it, Chief. All right, what else happened this week? Um, Microsoft bought Blizzard. Microsoft did buy Blizzard, so that's a pretty big merger. Uh, in terms of the Lego world, I think that means we're going to get the Overwatch 2 set eventually. I That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, And I hope this leads to more lego uh overwatch yeah yeah i agree because i think that that has a chance because i know microsoft and lego have a good relationship yeah microsoft and lego have an existing relationship through both minecraft and forza um yeah so it's not going to be difficult for them to continue like renewing the overwatch license but hopefully if it if the overwatch sets sell well which they won't um Maybe we'll get some other video game themes from Microsoft, because they're like, hey, we, we're doing the Minecraft, we're doing the Overwatch, let's do Halo. Um, well, I think someone else currently has Halo. Do they still have it? Somehow. <laughs> May, but I think, again, I think it might be like the Nintendo thing, where as soon as the... Dude, if they get both Pokemon and Halo... Like, <laughs> I don't think Lego would make Halo. A few years ago I would have said that, but now they just seem to not care. Like, honestly, it's not that much more violent than Star Wars. Yeah, or, like, Marvel movies, like... Yeah. Or they could do... Like, is there iconic, like, vehicles in Halo? Dude, yes. Like, they could go the, like, the D2C route where it doesn't come with any minifigures initially, and then that sells really well, and they're like, okay, we'll do minifigures. Dude, I could totally see them making, like, a Technic Warthog. Yeah. So, I, dude, I... Mega... Okay, hot hot prediction. In the next five years, Mega Constructs is going to be completely out of business, and Lego is going to have both Pokemon and Halo. They're only still around because they're owned by Mattel. Yeah. 
No, there are, and, and Pokemon or Halo are the only things that sell. And, like, Mario is selling better than Mega Hunter Pokemon, and Minecraft and Overwatch... Oh, well, I don't know about it. Now, eh, I don't know about Overwatch, but Minecraft's definitely selling better than, uh... Halo is for Mega Constructs, so... Yeah, because they, they, they make, like, literally two sets a year. Yeah, because they don't... I mean, because, like, if they made more, it wouldn't be worth it for them. Yeah. Um. So, I think, like... Th both Microsoft and Nintendo are going to look at this and be like, hmm, we're working with two building toy companies. One's performing a lot better. Maybe we should migrate it all over when they can. I would absolutely die if they made halo lego i would freak out dude lego has so much potential like in the coming decade or so yeah, they, there's so many licenses they could swoop up and i hope if we get lego pokemon i'm losing my mind I've, I, yeah. I think I've, i'm sure i've talked about this before but i've come full i used to be in the camp of like i don't think lego pokemon would work but now that i've seen lego mario it would work it would be perfect and i think what lego has to do is not do what mega Con because mega constructs is making miniature buildable action figures I think they want more the Mario approach, where like the characters aren't necessarily like movable, but they're like they just look like the thing. Lego could do it mm -hmm. perfectly. Mm -hmm. Dude, all the Pokemon action, most Pokemon action figures are just little statues. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, it, it works. Like they sell and it works. Yeah, do it like they do the uh, Mario villains. And like if it's a big Pokemon, maybe you can put ball joints on the arms, but like for the little guys, mm -hmm. just make it a little build. Mm -hmm. It'll be great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So I'm, um, uh, but I'm very excited that Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard because number one, Blizzard's bad company run by bad people, so they're getting out of here. Yay! Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's hopefully that begins to solve the issues in that company, um, and I can get the uh, the the Ice Girl minifigure because I like ice characters. That that set did release in like a couple Lego stores in Canada. Yeah, I saw that. And Justin Good got it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um, shout out to Justin Good for that one. Yeah, shout out to Justin Good. <laughs> I think I think it will come out though. I do too. All right, you want to go to some fan questions, or is there anything else from the news this week? We're getting a taxi, choo choo. Oh yeah, yeah. This is um, <laughs> it's a good set, but uh, it is also oh Skywalker Saga also happened. That's another. Oh right. We'll talk about that next, but let's talk about the taxi. Two hundred dollars for that? Yikes! Uh, yeah, it w wasn't it seventy five last year? Something like that. I think it was one twenty five. I know. Gift with purchase uh, January twenty twenty two. Where? Taxi. I'm trying to find a picture of it. Oh, vintage taxi. <laughs> Thanks, Jay's brick blog. Shout out. Uh, here you go. For the viewers. Um, yeah, it's a good set, but it's two hundred dollars. At the end of January. Who's spending $200 at the end of January? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up getting this one just because I need a little break from buying so much. Imagine if this and the Monkey Kid Poly Bag were both available on January 1st. I would have gotten them both. Yeah. But LEGO didn't announce that these were coming, so I couldn't save anything. And then... Yep. Good set, though. I do like this set. I'm just never going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, like, one modular behind, so before I get this year's, I still need to get last year's. Yeah. Oh, is it supposed to be a time with the modular? Yeah. Ah, gotcha. It's a, it's a taxi to go with the hotel. Something fun, though. It's the same uh, donut thief who from the police station set, and he's got a donut again in this set. That's cute. Yeah. He, he uh, maybe he's given up his thieving ways and gotten a job. I'm, pr I'm so proud of him. Me too. All right, so another thing that happened is the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga got a release date. Lego Phase 2 Commander Cody confirmed. I'm sorry, what was that? Lego Phase 2 Commander Cody confirmed. Dude. I, I... Don't get me started on that. I really hope they don't make a Phase 2 Commander Cody well, minifigure. Okay. The thing is, like, the trailer came out, you saw the Commander Cody figure, and everyone joked, oh, um... I'll just, MNR is gonna make a video on this, being like, oh my god, he's confirmed. And then MNR made a video on it, going, oh my god, he's confirmed. But, like, when has, when in LEGO video game history has there ever been, like, every single character has a physical minifigure? Dude, in that same clip, there's, like, six other minifigures that you know for sure will not get made. Yeah. And, like, does this mean we're not getting a Phase 2 Cody? No. But, like, the video game lure does nothing to lead to the fact that, like, we might get one. It does exactly. not increase or decrease his chances at all. 
No. And I think I think MNR knows that he just wanted to make a video. <laughs> yeah. Something else to note: this game was in production two years ago. Right. It was supposed um, to come out two years ago. So. It's likely that that was designed in 2019, 2018, <laughs> or 2020 at the latest. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, the game does look really good, though. Um, I agree. Combat mechanics in, are new. Like, characters have health instead of just all being one hit, which is pretty epic. Yeah, that's not new for this game, though. Is it not? No, that's been the past couple LEGO games. Starting with what? I know the Force Awakens does that. Okay, I think I guess that's the most recent one I played. I never finished that one, so. Yeah, no, um, that's a. Uh, th these feel more like video games now, and not just like Lego games, which is kind of cool. Yeah, um, I, I saw someone say like it's. As a Lego game, this like it's nothing special, but this is going to be one of the best Star Wars games we've ever gotten, just because it is the entire saga. Yeah. Um. What console you're planning to get it on? I'm debating, because I would much prefer to play it on Switch, but I need to see if how well it's optimized for Switch, because the Ninjago movie video game is optimized very poorly for Switch. So I will say, you told me about that, and then they released um, the Harry Potter Complete Saga specifically for Switch, and it works re like it runs really well. The difference between that, though, is that was a game designed that, like, for, what, the PlayStation 3 and the mm. originally... This, the Ninjago Movie video game was made for PS4, uh, like... Alright, because I, I want it on Switch also, because I like playing Lego games on Switch. I feel like it's a really good console right, for yeah. it. Right, yeah, like, I could buy it on PC, but I don't really want to use WASD to play a Lego game. Like, my, I played the first Lego Star Wars on my PlayStation 2, I don't really want to, um... No, I want to play with a controller just because that's what I'm used to, and that's. What no, I I prefer playing Lego games. It's a really good Switch like style game. So I'll um, have to see what it's like on Switch. If it's decent enough, I will get it on Switch. Otherwise, I'm getting it on PC because that's the only console I have. Um, I'll probably get it on Xbox because I agree. I don't like playing them on computer. Yeah, I ex yeah. If I were you, I'd definitely do Xbox. So I guess um, Switch is I nice because you can like have it in bed and whatnot. But well, no, that's why I want it because that's why I, when I like to play Lego games, it's like yeah. I'm sure there will be people who will review the Switch version. I'm not getting this day one, probably, so. Uh, I kind of want to pre-order it for that Luke head, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then there's uh, also, like, we got the DLC confirmed, which are just character... I thought they were level packs, but no, they're just character packs. Mm. Which makes them way less interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Skywalker Saga... DLC. It's a, a classic pack, um, Mandalorian, Rogue One, what's it called? I think there's like a Troopers pack and Bad Batch. Oh my goodness, dude, screen right, I don't want to disable ad block, I just want to read your article. Um, yeah, so it's two Mandalorian packs, Rogue One, classic characters, Solo, Bad Batch, Trooper pack. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like... If there were level packs, that would be cool, but, like, I don't really care to just pay more money for more characters. Like, all the characters in LEGO games are the same anyway. <laughs> well, it seems like they did a, they've done a lot to, like, differentiate characters in this game. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I doubt these guys are going to have anything unique to them that isn't going to be a part of the yeah. game. So I, yeah. unless I, like, absolutely adore this game, which I don't expect to, I'm not playing on getting these. Um, I'll see, but I'd probably, I don't think I need, like, I'll probably have the characters I want to play as in the main line. Yeah, it does kind of stink that Rogue One, I don't care about Soul, but it kind of stinks that Rogue One isn't getting, like, even A level. I know. Like, that would have been cool, but I guess we're getting, we are getting the main nine movies, so. We're getting enough content here, yeah. I think. Um, uh, it's the game be... also has mumble mode. Yep. That's pretty awesome. That will be on the entire time I play the game. It might be, I think it's a red brick, though. You have to unlock it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, I'm really excited to see, like, the original six movies, especially, because, like, I love LEGO Star Wars, the original, like, the original game, like, the original game. So I feel like it's going to be fun to play a modern version no, of honestly, it. No, honestly, I'm excited for the sequel. Like, this, like, Rise of Skywalker I don't like as a movie, but I'm excited to play through it because I feel like that would make for a fun video game. I agree. No, I agree. And, like, the care I do like a lot of the sequel's characters. Like, playing as, like, Kylo Ren and stuff will be cool. Yeah. Yeah, the more I look at this, I do really want this game. 
I, I I'm I'm probably getting it day one on Switch, honestly. Um, now, on the other side of this, there's also the the backstory of what happened behind the scenes with this game, which kind of stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, as well, soon as like. Okay. The... Yeah, it stinks what happened, but like game designers are not really real people, <laughs> so I don't think it's that big of a deal. That's this is a joke for the record. Yeah, I'll make it clear kinda. this is a joke. But yeah, the trailer for this game dropped, and then immediately after, like the 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 news sites had it ready, they just dropped an article like, yeah, the uh, game designers on Skywalker Saga were overworked and like were for forced to walk o work overtime or else they'd be fired. I was like, yep. oh, cool. That's that's nice. Yep. Uh, uh, so, that I mean, it stinks that the working conditions were like that. It's that. I would be shocked if TT Games makes like more than one more game after this for Lego. Mm -hmm. I. This might be the magnum opus. Yeah. Like the... I I mean, there's a chance they've already started working on whatever the next project is, but I don't think Lego's like, going to renew them after that. Mm -hmm. Because they've already been like outsourcing games to other companies. Like TT is not the only Lego game company anymore. It's mostly been like Wait, mobile games there? and whatnot, but... Okay, okay, I was gonna say, I didn't think there's not been any, like, main game. No, but, um, yeah, I could see TT going, going to the wayside, and if so, TT as a company is just going down, because mm -hmm. they only make Lego games. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, and also, the free room looks very cool, there's, like, what, 30 planets you can explore? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm... Honestly, the more we talk about it, the more I'm excited. Like, I'm excited about this game, Yeah, honestly. I'm looking at screenshots and stuff right now, and I'm like, oh, wait, maybe I... Like, at first I was like, yeah, Like, it's cool, but, like, I'm not that excited. But now I'm like, okay, I do kind of really want this. Um, um, dude, I'm excited. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm excited. I love LEGO games. They're really relaxing. They're fun to play. They're not too difficult. Like, I, I love LEGO games, and yeah. this is, like, everything I could ever want in a LEGO game. I wonder so. if this one's going to have uh, online co-op. Have they said anything about it? I don't know. In the article, they mentioned that, uh, like, the about the bad working conditions, they mentioned that, like, that's one of the biggest complaints with all LEGO games, but the higher-ups would never let them implement it. Um, I don't know if they actually did end up doing it for this one, but if I had to guess, no, because they never do. Yeah. They mentioned that, like, the yeah. higher-ups, they weren't focused on, like, what the actual criticisms were. They just wanted to, like, implement something to get it a good rating on, like, critic sites. Huh. It's like I don't even get that. Who cares? They're just making video game for babies. Like, yeah, it's what Lego games are. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, and then you want to do some viewer questions? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's see. Uh, a lot of this we already talked about. Um, the Jago set leaks. Um, oh here's something it's small but people are like theorizing that this is the finale of Ninjago I don't know what they're on about no it's not I don't think so like it's the finale of the saga but Ninjago's gonna continue after this something's gonna change I, I don't think it's gonna pick up right where this left off something's gonna change no because this, I think the season after this one is gonna be very much like season what 11 11 and or it's gonna be like it's, it's gonna be a soft reboot it's gonna be like Season 11, or Season 8, or Season 3. Yeah, they're going to, like, reintroduce the characters. Mm -hmm. It's going to be real goofy. I'm going to hate well, it. Well, no. It could be like that, or it could pull a Sons of Garma on, where they're going to reintroduce the characters, and suddenly it's all dark and edgy. Let's go dark and edgy again, because that's that was pretty epic. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Um, and, yeah, other than that, it's mostly stuff we've already talked about. Uh, let's check the Discord now, the members only Discord. If you leave a suggestion in the members only Discord, you have a higher chance of getting uh, getting talked about. Um, uh, Overwatch set we already talked about. Uh, and yep, everything we've already talked about in here. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching this week's episode of the Woo Crew Podcast. If you enjoyed, please press like, subscribe if you're new. Yeah. Anything else to say, Matthew? That is it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yo, Matthew, I'm kind of hungry for some oatmeal right now. You got any you can spare? I'm actually... I just ran out. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did? Yeah. I've also been looking to purchase Jay's Lightning Dragon Evo. I kind of lost mine. Do you, do you know where I don't to get have, one of those? I don't have one for sale. Oh. Uh, 
a shame. Like, 